So over the past few years, a lot of shooters have resorted to buying uh, cheaper ammunition from lesser known brands. Now for the majority of 2020, I was very well stocked in ammunition. It wasn't really an issue for me, but come 2021, I was starting to lo run low on ammunition and I needed to find an outlet for some better priced ammo compared to what you were seeing at most of your local gun stores and most online retailers. So in February of 2021, I was on AmmoSeek and I saw a link to a company called Zinc Point Manufacturing for a thousand rounds of nine millimeter for what was at the time a very good deal. So about a week later, ammo showed up at my door and for the month of March, that was the ammunition I was shooting. I was about 800 rounds in near the end of the month of March and something happened. Uh, what was that something? Well, my gun exploded. So I was at the range one day shooting this Glock 34 when all of a sudden it exploded. Uh, magazine shot out, slide release shot out the side, parts internally broke, the mag release broke in half, the MOS plate somehow warped as well, the frame was all butchered up, it was all sorts of messed up. Uh, clearly a catastrophic failure. In fact, this is the round that had detonated inside the uh, chamber. Um, injuries to my hand, in fact, a piece of my slide release lives in my left hand to this day. Uh, it was not a good time. So I reached out to Zinc Point Manufacturing and said, hey, this ammunition I bought from you guys, it exploded in my Glock. And they're like, hey, send us the remaining ammo. They sent me a UPS label, we'll take care of you. So I sent them the remaining ammo and I never heard anything back from them. And to this day, over a year later, I still haven't heard anything back from Zinc Point Manufacturing. Now, since that happened, um, the dudes at my range researched the ammunition I brought in and on the rear of the casings it said Venom Ammo. It was Venom Ammo casings. So they went on the assumption that it was Venom Ammo that was the issue simply sold by Zinc Point Manufacturing. And so what they did is they banned the use of Venom Ammo at their range saying hey, this is unreliable, it's unsafe, we're not going to let people shoot it. Now a couple months later some guys from Venom Ammo went to go shoot their Venom ammo at the range. And they're like, nope, you're not allowed to shoot this here. This is totally unallowed. And they're like, what the hell happened? And they explained what happened to me. So the guys from Venom wanted to speak to me and a individual from the range contacted me and I went over to the range and spoke with the guys from Venom. As it turns out, it was not Venom ammunition. They had sold brass casings, just the casings themselves, not the full round, to Zinc Point a few months prior, sold thousands and thousands and thousands of casings and they had actually stopped doing business with Zinc Point due to some shady business practices from Zinc Point Manufacturing. Now, the main difference from uh, Zinc Point main Ammo, which I have right here, which has a brass uh, casing, which normally from Venom, or at least at the time was from Venom, and then a copper jacket, well, Venom Ammo is completely brass, kind of like SNB ammunition, where it's a complete brass, the, both the actual bullet itself and the casing is completely brass on proper Venom Ammo. So spoke to the guys, we were able to sort that out, and they said, hey, we'll send you, you know, some rounds so you can you know, show that, hey, this is good ammo, it's nothing to worry about. So I was anticipating they might send me a box, two boxes, something like that, nothing crazy. Uh, about a month later, 2,000 rounds of Venom ammo showed up at my door. I put all 2,000 rounds of that through my pistols, a lot of them through that Glock 34 again, never had a single issue, perfectly reliable. Turns out the issue was zinc point ammo. And like I said, still to this day, Zinc Point has said nothing to me. They've never responded. I've DM'd them on Instagram. I've sent them more emails. Nothing from them whatsoever. Uh, they seem not to care the fact that their ammo blew up in my hand and uh, could have severely injured someone, could have severely injured uh, myself. Luckily, it was just injuries to my hands, but it could have been something far worse. Now, something that came with this as well was learning how good Glock's customer service is. So I called Glock and said, hey, this ammo exploded in my gun. Um, is there a way I can get some parts or, you know, can I send it in so you guys can at least look at it so I know if it's safe to shoot or not? And they said, send it to us, uh, just pay shipping, and we'll do an x-ray of your slide, do a full examination, and, and service your Glock. I'm like, okay. So I sent it to them and they called me and they said, hey, yeah, you know, uh, we x-rayed your slide, we checked everything, um, it's good to shoot, we're going to replace some parts, and we're going to polish your frame a bit um, to make it, you know, usable since it is kind of beat up. And I was like, oh, awesome. And then they sent it back to me. No money was exchanged, I didn't have to pay them anything, I just had to pay for shipping, and my Glock was good as new. They even sent me some new MOS plates, since one of my MOS plates warped my RMR one that was on there, this Hollow Sun, and that was that, right? Fantastic customer service from Glock, even though the issue wasn't their problem at all, it wasn't their gun that exploded, it was that ammunition from Zinc Point Manufacturing, Glock took care of my gun, no problem, so great on them, Glock, fantastic customer service.
Now, what is the takeaway from this? Well, one, don't cheap out on things like ammunition and things that explode, right? When you cheap out on stuff, you get what you pay for. And if you're gonna cheap out on things that have to do with explosions going off in your hand, uh, things of high extreme pressure, you probably wanna go with a reputable brand. Go with reputable ammo. I know ammo is still pretty expensive compared to what it was 2019 and prior, but it's not worth sacrificing your life or your safety for this. Um, in fact, I saw a post on Reddit not too long ago from an individual, and I'll throw some pictures up here, of someone who also shot zinc point ammo, and the gun exploded in their SIG P320. Uh, very similar situation, just a different pistol. So, zinc point, not safe to use, I do not recommend their ammo, and in general, try and get some safer, better ammunition that you actually know it's a reputable company. So if you guys enjoyed the video, if you now know not to buy zinc point ammo or just cheap ammunition, go ahead and leave a like down below. If you have other experience with other faulty ammo brands or with zinc point themselves, please leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear about it. Like always guys, I'm releasing new videos every Saturday, so subscribe and stay tuned.